Sorry. There's another milestone looming. We're heading for Adelaide. He's a Crow's favourite son, and I reckon right now he's a bit of a renaissance man as Tex reaches 250. I played for the North Brogan Bulldogs, and I got to see some of the greats play 200 and 300 games, and I was like, how good would that be to play for North Brogan Bulldogs? And I've been able to do it at the highest level. And he's in for the big stage in his first game. Oh, Taylor Walker, win your hearts. Oh, you're scorching. Just through hard work and being resilient and not taking no for an answer, really. So, yeah, it's, it's been a great journey, and hopefully one that can continue on for a little longer. It makes you a character, it creates challenges, it makes you very resilient. So that's something that I think has helped me in good stead to stand here today and on the eve of 250 games. Come at the moment, come at Tex. I'd love to play another final, two, three, however many it can be. I just love footy. I just want to keep playing footy for as long as I can. Texas 250th Saturday twilights at Adelaide Oval. Let's head into the lounge room at home, shall we? Taylor Walker, Tex, it's great to have you on 360. Welcome and congratulations. Uh, thanks very much, Jared. Has it got you in a little bit of a reflective mood? Yeah, it does, mate. It does. You, uh, our game, obviously, uh, from week to week, it, it continues to roll on and not until things like this occur that you're, you're able to sit back with family and friends and um, teammates and coaches and, and reflect on um, the journey that's been had so far. And uh, I'm really looking forward to the weekend, mate. I, I, uh, I can't wait. Obviously, have your things that you have to do media-wise throughout the week, and uh, it's quite emotional, to be honest. Um, so I'm looking forward to a day off tomorrow and then locking in Friday and, and uh, playing on, on Saturday afternoon. Are you in a period of renaissance, Tex? As I reckon you could probably track it back to when Matthew Nix arrived and, and none of us were quite sure what the future would hold. I, I wonder even about what you thought. And then you've played some of your absolute best footy, I'm sure, since. Yeah, look, I, I, I certainly... Um, in the COVID year, I was struggling to get a kick. I think I'd kicked a total of 15 goals that year and... I was really battling for form. Um, Nixie kept playing me. We finished last on the ladder. And I think I was very lucky to have a year on my contract the following year because it would have been an interesting conversation at the end of that year um, as to whether I went on or not. So to be able to have that extra year and, and the coaches and the football club back me in again and um, I then repay that faith to be able to go out and perform the last few years has been very, very pleasing. Tex, congratulations. 250, huge effort. And as, as Jared said, you've been able to do it through some tough times. I think the beauty about um, playing milestone games is having kids there and having them involved. What, what does that mean to you now as a, as a father? Yeah, thanks, Louis. Uh, mate, uh, to be honest, Ellie, my wife, asked me the other day, what am I actually looking forward to the most? And I just want to run out with my kids, mate. Um, <laughs> That's what I'm really looking forward to on Saturday is being able to run out with the boys and my little daughter, Hattie. Um, we've been practising up and down the hallway the last <laughs> few nights and um, they just keep telling everyone that they get to run out with that on, on Saturday afternoon. So, yeah, that's one thing that I'm certainly um, um, looking forward to. There wouldn't be too many guys at the club with, with kids, probably you and, you and Rory, maybe a couple of others? Yeah, there's, I think there's four of us. Myself, Sloney, Wayne Miller has a little boy and Matty Crouch has a little girl. So, yeah, there's only a few of us. So the period of renaissance now leads you to a team that is quickly on the rise, Tex. Do you feel like you've still got, uh, you've still got that dream alive now, the way the Crows are putting this together in the, in the coming period of time to contend for that premiership? Yeah, I do, Jared. I, I strongly believe that we're playing in the right manner. Um, it's a contested style of game plan. Our pressure is very good. Um, and now we've added that extra level of skill to be able to hurt the opposition. So that's how finals footy's been played. And I've been very pleased with the emergence of some of our young kids. Um, obviously, Jordan Dawson and Isaac Rankin have come in and, and certainly made a massive impact on our footy club. And... And 
and the guys that are a little bit older have been playing some good footy as well. So we've got a great cross-section of, of form from our, our team. And um, the challenge for us now is to be able to continue to do that um, this week and then we'll have a buy in, in the second half of the year. Just uh, give us a training note today. So Isaac Rankin looked to injure himself an arm at training. How has that panned out? Do you know? Yeah, I'd caught up with him post-training. He, he's fine, mate. It was just a little stinger, um, just a contest. The two boys clashed and, um, yeah, he, he's gonna, he'll be fine for Saturday afternoon. I told him he can't miss. We need him to win. <laughs> <laughs> he'll be here. Text you, 250, a fellow key forward who you may have watched a lot of footy, plays his 350th tomorrow night. Have you admired what he's been able to do in the game, playing uh, exactly the same position? It's funny, I was just listening um, for the five minutes before and, and the way you spoke about him, I was, I was getting tingles down my spine. He's one of my all-time favourite players. I love watching him. I love turning the TV on to watch him. Um, I've been lucky enough to play against him live. Um, he's just a super, super, super footballer. And I don't know, I feel like he's a bit like LeBron um, <laughs> at the back end of their careers. We we're very quickly to knock them and tell them that they're done, but we'll never ever see a Buddy Franklin ever again. So I sit back and enjoy absolutely everything he does. Good stuff. Uh, your merch line arrived. Oh, I know this would have been Robbo's, but he's not here, so I don't know whether it'll still be here come, uh, <laughs> come Monday when he returns with the 250 hoodies uh, there. So, gosh, you'll have some support in the crowd, Tex, I reckon. Yeah, I've had to get a fair few tickets um, for my family and friends from Broken Hill and some good family and friends from down here in Adelaide. So I'd imagine there's, uh, there's going to be a bay with a fair few hoodies and shirts on, <laughs> um, on Saturday, mate. And beers raised knowing that little group as well. So Tex, the very best of luck <laughs> and thanks a lot for joining us tonight. Nah, thanks for having me, guys.